Hey y'all, welcome back for another hunting ammo ballistics gel test. Today we've got an absolute classic Winchester PowerPoint 180 grain and 300 wind mag. All right, y'all, here is your very classic looking box for the 180 grain, 300 wind mag Winchester PowerPoint load. The boxes Winchester's coming out with just look so cool. That deer just looks awesome. Let's go ahead and flip it around to the back. Here's sort of like a little promo story. Feel free to stop, pause, and read that if you would like. Besides that, not a lot of promo information on here. They just state quick knockdown, excellent accuracy, deep penetration. Coming on down, we've got our ballistics chart. Muzzle velocity is stated at 2,960 feet per second. We'll see how close we get to that. Let's go ahead and open the stuff up and take a look. Oh, that side doesn't want to open up. There we go. Comes in your standard Winchester styrofoam ammo holder. Brass looks nice and clean, nicer on average than a lot of Winchester ammo I look at. This stuff looks pretty good. Let's whip one out and take a look. There it is, your 180 grain power point. Let's go shoot it and see how it does. And my test rifle today is my Ruger M77 Hawkeye Hunter, chambered in 300 Winchester Magnum, of course. It's got a 24 inch barrel and we are taking advantage of that threaded muzzle. And up top, we've got a Leopold VX3 HD scope. And coming on back, I've got to show you one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs. Check out my website, masonleather.com, to get yourself one. I would love to make you one. And we've got 300 wins stamped right in to let everybody know the hammer is about to fall. And I've also got one of my super thick Latigo leather slings. Check out my website for these as well. If you're looking for a leather sling that will last you a lifetime, you're going to want to check these out. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you my Black Bear design. And real quick, if you're watching this video anytime around when it came out, I'm having a huge sale on my website, masonleather.com. Go check it out and get yourself something. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are your velocities for that classic 180 grain power point out of the 300 wind mag, minimum 2944, max 2978 for an average of 2960. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that 180 grain Winchester power point out of the 300 wind mag. We captured all three bullets. I had to take four shots. One of the bullets slipped out of the bottom of this second block and I can't find it. So I fired another one. Look at those. They actually look pretty darn decent. These are just, you know, your cheap cup and core bullets, but they are 180 grains at least, not like 150s or something. They got a little bit of weight to them, which I think helped them hold together. So penetration wise, we got, I'm going to give that one... The edge is kissing 21 inches. This one is kissing 22. And then this third one right here down deep is 22 and a half inches. So not quite as deep a penetration as you might think out of the 300 Winchester Magnum because we get such massive expansion, even though these are 180 grain bullets. Now at longer range, I'll talk about that later. At longer range, I'm sure we would see deeper penetration because we would have a little bit less expansion. And really that's where the 300 wind mag is gonna shine at a little bit extended distances. So coming on back to the first block, these bullets absolutely smacked this block around. I mean, it was falling all over the place. Massive, massive wound cavities. I mean, now granted this is four wound cavities stacked up, but it looks, if you go back and watch my other videos, this is big. I mean, these are all big wound tracks right here. We get expansion starting at about the one and a quarter inch mark, massive blow up, and then it tapers off by about the 10 to 11 inch mark, and then finally tapers off completely by 13 inches. Keeps on penetrating. That is gonna put a hurting on whatever you hit with it. So let's go ahead and dig these guys out and take a look. All right, y'all, we shot it. Let's talk about it. The absolutely classic Winchester Super X PowerPoint 180 grain load out of the 300 Win Mag. Weight retention wise, we saw 138, 142, and 143 grains for an average of 141 grains retained weight. Nice and consistent weight retention across all three bullets. 
That works out to 78% weight retention. And honestly, I'm surprised it's that high. This isn't a bonded bullet. It's not special in any way. It's a classic cup and core lead and copper bullet. And for what it is, man, I think it did really, really good. Expansion wise, we saw 0 0.78, 0 0.79, and 0.84 inches for an average of 0.8 inches expanded diameter. These things got big. That works out to 2.6x expansion. And look at the photo of these bullets. It's not like a chunk, you know, jutting off here or there, skewing the number. It's consistent. It's nice and even all the way around. Again, I'm kind of floored by how these did. Velocity wise, another area where this load just performed. 29.79 for the high, 29.45 for the low. 29.60 was the average velocity versus the box spec of guess what? 29.60, first time in channel history. This is uh, the 164th load that I've tested according to my sheet here. Not all those videos are released yet. First time in channel history, we had our average velocity match our box spec exactly. Now, I don't expect that to happen. That's just really cool to see. And it shows that it can be done. And our estimated velocity down there at 100 yards is 2,768 feet per second. Penetration wise, again, this load keeps doing good. 21 inches, 22 inches, and 22 and a half inches for an average of about 22 inches of penetration. And that's past that 20 inch mark I like to see for medium game hunting. It's not quite as deep as I would like to see for bigger game hunting, but for deer and black bear and stuff like that, man, it's right there. And with a 180 grain bullet going on average 2,960 feet per second, we're looking at 3,501 foot pounds at the muzzle and 3,061 foot pounds down there at 100 yards, which is towards the upper end of what I've seen for factory 300 Win Mag ammo in true velocities. This stuff hits like a sledgehammer. And a quick announcement before we get to my final thoughts, if you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks y'all. All right, y'all, it's time for my final thoughts on that Winchester PowerPoint 180 grain load out of the 300 Win Mag, classic hunting ammo. This stuff did excellent across the board. There's not a bad thing I can say about it. Excellent weight retention for a non-bonded bullet, incredible expansion, nice and uniform. The velocity met and beat the box. Penetration was excellent for what it is intended for which according to the box right here on the back, it says deer, elk, wild boar, your standard medium game. This stuff isn't marketed as, you know, moose ammo, you know, grizzly ammo, stuff like that. It's meant for your standard medium game. And for that, it did great. 22 inches of penetration, it's gonna get through whatever you need it to. It's always great to see one of these classic ammos perform so well. If I was looking for sort of a more dedicated whitetail black bear, you know, hog load for my 300 Win Mag, I think this Winchester PowerPoint 180 grain stuff would be a great choice. So let me know what you think. If you've used this load on game in your 300 Win Mag, let me and everyone else know how it did down in the comments. And check out my website, masonleather.com and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also tons of photos showing all the customizable options, including name, initial, and caliber stamping as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.